Polynesians have traces of an extinct human relative in their DNA. This extinct human was previously unknown until now. Hello, hello, welcome to IO. I'm Charlotte. If you would like to connect with us, all our links to our social media accounts are posted down below. And so is the source for this story. Alrighty, let's get into it. So if you didn't know already, Melanesia is part of the Oceania region that includes Papua New Guinea. It's kind of sort of close to Fiji and Australia. At some point in history, the ancestors of the Melanesians mated with this extinct humanoid. This unknown species is most likely not Neanderthals or Denisovans, but another type of humanoid. No fossils have ever been found of this humanoid. There's a lot of evidence of Neanderthals found in Europe and Asia, but Denisovans not so much. The only evidence that exists of Denisovans is a finger bone fragment of a young female that lived 41,000 years ago in a cave, and also a couple teeth fossils. The cave, which is in Siberia, was once home to Neanderthals. Neanderthals and also modern humans. The DNA that was found on these fossils was different from the unknown species found in the DNA of the Melanesians, so that rules out Denisovans. It's crazy that the species of humans must have existed, but we have no other fossils or evidence of them, at least not yet. Ryan Bolander, a statistical geneticist, found this DNA when he was investigating the percentage of Denisovan DNA present in the Melanesians DNA. He and his colleagues came to the conclusion that there must have been an additional group of humanoids that bred with the Melanesians. So who were they? Well, no one really knows for sure yet, but we know it's an extinct distant cousins of Neanderthals, similar to the Denisovans, but also distinct enough to be a different species. One researcher actually thinks that the DNA might belong to the hobbits. Yes, hobbits actually existed, and they lived in Indonesia 50,000 years ago. They disappeared nearly 40,000 years ago, and no one really knows why, but most think they hit an evolutionary dead end. I know what you're thinking. Why would modern humans have had sex with primitive humans? This actually isn't the first time that it was discovered that modern humans had sex with Neanderthals. And it's definitely not race specific. It was discovered over a decade ago that humans, at some point in history, mated with Neanderthals. In 2012, other researchers suggested that some people in Africa had DNA belonging to another type of extinct human. And then some people outside of Africa still have traces of Neanderthal in their DNA. Europeans and Chinese people have about 2.8%. 2.7%. 78% of the DNA found in the people of Papua New Guinea comes from Neanderthals. If you have traces of Neanderthal DNA, it might actually cause you to have health problems. Even now, researchers don't know a lot about the genetic makeup of specific groups of humanoids. They could have been different from each other, the way Asian people and European people are different from each other. This unknown species could have been just one branch of humanoid that we don't know about, and there very well could have been others, waiting to be discovered. So what does this mean, and why should you care? Well, it means that our history, human history is a lot more complicated than we originally thought. These findings were reported on October 20th at the annual meeting of the American Society of Human Genetics. Alright guys, that's all I have for you on that. It's time to reply to some of your comments. On our video, Teen Wakes Up From A Coma Speaking Another Language, Joshua Benton said, what language would you want to speak if you woke up from anything? Mine is French. I think I'd probably want to speak Italian. I still can't speak to my grandma and I really wish that I could. Next comment comes from Born Confused. Do you research or does somebody send this to you? We have a creative director that picks the stories and the hosts do all the research. Next comment comes from Becca Slays. Would you rather be stung by a swarm of bees or hit in the face three times with a softball bat? Um, softball bat, for sure. For sure. All right, next comment comes from Jasmine Magdaleno. I watched IO since the beginning. Love you guys. Thanks for being a subscriber. We love you too. All right, last comment comes from Sparky V10. Want to hear a joke? Inform overload. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> Bye.